Ugh, fuck. Look, no one really cares about you. No one cares about me. No one cares about anyone else besides themselves. And it's really a harsh reality because once you finally grab that concept, you finally understand that even the closest people, your parents, your friends, your loved ones, they don't care as much about you. Now I want to bring up the story because not only will this, I think, lesson help you on your entre entrepreneurial, entrepreneur journey, what the fuck am I saying? But um, I had a dream. I just came back from the gym. I'm fucking drenched in sweat. It's hot as fuck. Just came back from the gym and it reminded me of a dream that I had last night or like an epiphany, kind of. And what I'm about to say, it's actually like, I picture it as like an um, animated short film that would go viral. Like if anyone has the skills to do that, make this shit a fucking little animated short film. I promise when I go viral, it has a deep meaning. <laughs> but I had like a little vision. So I was at the gym and I was doing deadlifts and I'm staring right in front of the mirror. Like the mirror is right in front of me while I'm doing deadlifts. And it's a tough, it's a tough workout. I haven't worked out in in a while, and it's you know first time back since since you know over a week, and it's really tough. But you keep pushing, you keep going, so you get to the deadlifts. It's towards the end of your workout, and usually you do eight reps for how much weight there was. Usually I do eight reps. So the first time I go, I'm struggling. Come on. Two, and it's like I do five I'm like oh what the fuck oh fuck I'm like I, I hate I hate that that's one of my pet peeves is getting worse and I just despise it like it, it burns my blood especially for weights if I do lower reps or do lower weight it pisses me off that means I got worse and I get annoyed <laughs> Um, so I did five the first time. I'm like, shit, well, I fucking usually do eight. I'm like, come on, go to the next one. I do one, two, and I do four. I even do worse. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm getting pissed at myself. I'm having a conversation. I'm having a conversation in my head. No, everyone else is minding their own business. I'm having a conversation in my head like I'm a fucking bitch. You got to fucking do eight. You're going to do eight. You're going to be a little pussy, whatever. All, all this negative talk. And then a thought came in my head and it was, what if people were watching you? And that little thought transformed me into my vision where now all of a sudden, all the people, the whole gym, black, it all went dark. It was cold and dark and all I can see is myself the barbell the whatever the weights sorry and then me looking myself in the mirror that's all I see black and then all of a sudden a little light shines a bit further down And there wasn't that much light, but I started to see some people because the it, the floor was all white. So the reflection of the, the white floor was starting to show people a bit down there. But yet the whole room is still black. And it's quiet. It's pitch, pitch quiet. You can't even hear a single, single fucking sound wave. None of it. So I start to look at these people kind of like a, in a group, all huddled together and just standing straight like like bots or zombies. You know, like you've seen the movies where they're just like emotionless. And I, and I, and I start to look at the faces and I see the people that I know. 
I see my parents, my siblings, my friends, my closest friends, my cousins, my aunts and uncles, and I start to see my ex-girlfriends, current girls I'm talking to, basically all these people that are staring at me now. So I'm looking, I'm looking at this and I realize that they're all looking at me, waiting for me to do the eight reps that I usually do. And I'm like, fuck, I, I start to get nervous. I said, fuck, I can't fuck this up now. Now I'm getting nervous, I'm in my head. But then right before I start to grab the, the weights, I get a rush of like motivation. I get a rush of motivation. I'm like, no, I'm gonna fucking do it. I can't, I can't let these people down. So I grab the weight, bend my knees, deep breath, and then just a fire in my eyes. I said, fuck this, and I go one, two, three, four, five. I go down for the sixth one and just drops out of my hands. So I'm like, fuck. I'm like, fuck. Five again. But I'm like, no. Not this time. I so said, I'm fucking doing it. Right away, no hesitation. Grab it back up. Six. Seven. I drop it again. Like one more. No hesitation. And I go the last one. Eight. Like slow, slow, slow. Boom. Drop it on the floor. My head's down. I slowly start looking up. I'm out of breath. I'm like. <sighs> I look up. And I still see everyone emotionless standing there. And I didn't know what I was expecting. An applause, some cheering, some boos from the people that hate me. I didn't know, but that moment of silence after completing the eight reps and just looking up at everyone and just waiting for any type of reaction where people are gonna come congratulate me that moment of silence felt like hours, but it was probably 30 seconds to a minute. And then I see someone in the back, back of the crowd. I couldn't recognize his face. They start to leave. Again, emotionless. No fucking reaction whatsoever in their face. It's like they're, they're dead, they're zombies. Turns around and leave. And after that, one person left. Two. Five. Ten. Ten people start following. Forty. Fifty. And then everyone started to leave. With no reaction. And then, I was alone back on myself in the dark, looking myself in the mirror. And the thought in my head, I'm like, the first two times I didn't do eight. Then when finally people were looking at me, that I kind of had to prove myself to other people and use them as motivation, I did the eight. But they don't care. They don't care. So why? Like why are why am I using other people to drive my efforts and my success? Because they don't care. So it's such a shitty motivation. And it made me realize that a lot of things that I do in my life, not even for me, but for other people. How I look to other people or what I do for other people. And it's never ever about me. I 
I promise I was not on some LSD while I had this. It was kind of like some dream. I don't even know. I can't even explain it. But it's an important lesson. Even the closest people. They may be watching. Looking at what you're doing. And in reality, they're actually supporting. They're telling you, good job. Deep, deep down. No one cares more about other people compared to themselves. So it's just a very important lesson that you should learn that and moving forward, do everything for you. What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? What life do you want to live? When making decisions, try to ignore other people's opinions. What is, what do you think is best? You. It comes at a point in life, especially at our age, you need to adopt this mindset to be a bit more selfish. Because I promise you, this phase of selfishness, that's what's going to make you the man or the, the girl or the person that you want to be in the future. To provide, to take care. But you need to focus more on yourself. Get in that black room. And it's you versus you staring against that mirror. For if you see a crowd, don't don't look at them. You look straight in the mirror in your own eyes. It's you versus you. Someone make that a fucking short film, I promise you. Anyways, I hope. I did a, a very good job at storytelling. <laughs> and uh, if you found some value in this video, if it helped you out a lot, opened your eyes, made you have a, some aha moment, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment what you think about it, help the algorithm, pay it forward. If it helped you, it'll help someone else. And God's watching. And if you, if you give you know, you you will receive. It's paying me for it. Appreciate you, love you, and I'll see you at the motherfucking top, baby.